Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday morning, and I wanted to vlog the next few days. Um, we are actually starting the day with something that has been on my list of things I want to do, and it was to bike around Paris. But I don't want to do it alone because I'm kind of scared. So I'm dragging Karen with me, um, and I found a really cute coffee shop to I'm go to. Extremely frightened by this thing. <laughs> It's kind of like, you know, when you're a little sister, you always ask your bigger sister to come to do things with you. I'm not sure about this activity right now. And it's Paris Fashion Week, so st streets are crowded. Uh, there's people everywhere. I have, like so much traffic. This is... This is... Yeah, I'm, I'm, might be the worst idea. So my idea was to follow Karen. And I thought it would be less scary so that Karen... <laughs> So that Karen leads the way. I, no, no, I'm not leading. I don't even know where we're going. No, we need to look on the map. So this is what I'm wearing for a little bike. Stazione. This is what I'm wearing for apparently a bike session. I just need to put shoes on. <laughs> I'm not wearing bags i'm just putting tucking things in my pocket oh you are i am very worried about this thing like what if the bag falls and i'm biking or what if someone pulls the bag away from me this is this is gonna be fun this is not gonna be fun this is gonna be horrible about to vomit <laughs> i'm so worried we looked at the map and i'm like we're never gonna survive this <laughs> it's straight it's a straight line from uh, straight here line, straight line to the coffee shop we will, report. <laughs> we will report after the ride. Uh, it's a straight line, but there's going to be so many mean taxi drivers, mean drivers, <laughs> French mean My goal, taxi drivers. My follow Karen. <laughs> follow Karen. We stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. When we stick as a group. <laughs> I wish we could bike route. You know on those things where it's uh, two people? Oh, yeah. Oh, so that, that would have been <laughs> that so would cute. Be cute. <laughs> okay, let's get the... Let's do it. Let's do it. Karen. It's giving Scandy Girl vibes. It's giving Scandy Girl vibes. Look, I can get my iPhone. Ah, oh, chic. Because our bikes. Ready, Lisa? I'm ready. I am so worried. <laughs> How cute. This is the coffee shop we are going to that is called Noir. They're I think three of them in Paris or something like this and I passed by in front the other day and it's all pink inside, it's the cutest. He hasn't arrived yet, so I said I would cook dinner, which I've never done because I'm just not a cook. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I thought I would do something simple and kind of prep the house to make it look cute. It's just a Wednesday night. So this is what I'm wearing. This silk dress that I love from... And another stories, I bought it years ago. So many people ask me where I got that dress. Um, yeah, I really love it. It's just that easy, effortless slip dress. So let me show you what we are going to cook. Because your girl's skills are limited, um, I chose to make something really simple that I know I can't really F it up. So I chose to make salmon with a side and also to make a little Greek salad. So tomato, cucumber, olives, and feta cheese. So that's gonna be dinner. I will show you the final result. So this is the dinner setting. It looks super basic, but I don't know where certain things are. So that's what's going on for now. And I've also lit this candle up and we have these beautiful flowers. I am back, you guys, with a little haul. I have purchased 
um, some things recently to update my wardrobe for fall. And I had some beauty products that finished that I had to repurchase. So I thought I would show you guys. Um, let's start with the beauty products. So I went to Sephora and I got a few products. The first one being my perfume. I finished my perfume at the end of summer and it's actually really hard to live without your perfume. Like I feel like it finishes the outfit. It gives you that mood. Um, perfume is so personal. I had a hard time finding mine because for example, I don't like anything too overpowering, too strong. Uh, it kind of makes me nauseous. So I found one that's light enough and that works from day to night. I know certain people use many different perfumes and kind of switch things up. I only have one. And mine is the Coco Mademoiselle um, from Chanel. And it is the one that's called L'eau Privé. So it's, it's different from the regular Coco Mademoiselle. Um, but I really, really love the scent of this. I just think it really works, as I said, from day to night, even though it is called a perfume for the night. But I think for me, it works. The two other beauty products I bought is also a repurchase. Um, and it is for my hair. And both from the same brand. You have probably heard about this brand. It's called Gizu. And... I had the oil for quite a bit of time. I actually use only a tiny bit. So for me, this lasts a really long time. Um, I love the packaging. I love the scent. I love the oil. I use it more as a finishing. So when, you know, I finish styling my hair and I want to give some shine. But I also use it when I feel like my hair is dry before I blow dry it. So when my hair is wet, um, I just put a little bit into it. So this one is, I think, the travel size and it works perfect for me because at least it's easy to put it in your bag, in your beauty bag, if you travel. And I also got the Gizu Heat Me, Treat Me, Complete Me Profilus Infused Heat Protecting Spray. Um, I style my hair quite a bit. So I use a blow dryer, a curling iron, and I'm putting a lot of heat on my hair so I feel like it's very important to protect it and I just find that this one really works really well um, again I love the smell mm. I love the smell and it lasts a really long time so next we have clothes I bought a few pieces to update my wardrobe as I said and the first one is the one that I'm wearing so let me show you. It's this white top. I bought it from Mango. I really love it because it's a super comfortable material and I love this kind of neckline. I find that it's kind of chic and it gives something to the outfit. We have from Zara a little gilet a piece between a jacket and a cardigan. And I just thought it was really nice to have i don't really have a um, casual jacket i have blazers i have trench coats or like structured coats but i don't have that like sunday wear and i just found that this one was perfect for it so it's a gray bomber kind of look with a zipper and I just think it looks great. Let me put it on for you guys. So as you can see, it's really like a relaxed fit. Um, it's just great. And it's just to have that thing to wear during the weekend. I thought I could do it even without a shirt under and just zip it up and wear some jewelry that could be cute with a little handbag. Um, I am going to style all these pieces on next week's video. I feel like I want to do a um, 
fall outfits idea how to style fall outfits or like my favorite fall outfits kind of video let me know if you would like to see that um and i will probably feature all of these items next piece is one of my favorites and i kind of i went you know when like i tried it the first time and then i had to go back try it again with karen to have her opinion i really love it it's a leather jacket and it's this jacket it kind of reminds me of a vintage chanel jacket the cut of it and i think also this little like pattern kind of is giving me that i try and buy things in a smart way like i know my style really well now that i'm capable of knowing things that are gonna stay in my closet and i know i'm gonna wear the pieces a hundred times and i know pieces that i'm attracted to them because they're trendy but i'm not gonna get a lot of use out of them so i try and like really shop in a very conscious way um this jacket i don't have anything that looks like that in my closet but i think it's a really pretty piece that I'm going to be able to style in different ways and that I'm going to keep. So let me try it on for you guys. So this is it. It is quite oversized. This is an extra small. I will, I will put everything in the description box with the sizes. Um, so it's an extra small. It has these fake pockets. I just think it looks really cool. I had this idea of like wearing this jacket with my Chanel bag, some cute little sunglasses. I think it's gonna be a vibe. I can even layer it during winter with that cardigan that I showed you. This was more of an investment piece, but I feel like a really pretty jacket makes an outfit. Like you can have, um, a more of a as you can see i have a really basic outfit on just a simple white top with jeans but putting on that jacket just makes the look getting ready to go have have drinks with friends um, I'm so excited to see them it's friends that I made when I was at fashion school um, and we all stayed in contact so I got ready real fast and I'm wearing my new jacket with a little white tank top jeans and samba and my Chanel bag um, so it's the first time I am getting the jacket out and yeah, let's have a fab evening. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday today and it is Fashion Week in Paris. So that means that there are events, presentations, fashion shows going on. We went to an event with Karen on Monday night for the brand Sporty and Rich, and it was so much fun. And today I have a presentation. Um, that I'm going to and I'm so excited. I have my uber ready to go. This is what I I'm gonna wear this pair of jeans that goes to the floor. I have just a simple white tank top This jacket that I love My Chanel bag Evan Mayhem earrings and these little clips are going off as soon as I arrive there So let's go guys The presentation 
it was absolutely beautiful. I love seeing these dresses that are like made to make you feel beautiful. They are full of beads and color. It was absolutely stunning. Now I'm walking back home and I have a few other things to do. I am back home from the presentation and I kind of wanted to take a minute and to explain what's the difference between a fashion show and a presentation. Usually during fashion week you have these kind of two ways of presenting a collection. Um, a fashion show is when you have models walking down a runway to present a new collection. And presentation serves the exact same purpose, so it's about presenting a new collection, but instead of being on models that walk down a runway, it's on mannequins sometimes, or models that stay static. So you can see the clothes in details because you get to really approach um, the clothes. You, It's a little bit more intimate. You also have someone sometimes that explains the collection um, to you. So it's two very different ways. I love both ways and it was so much fun seeing this presentation because I feel like the clothes are so well made and so intricate that it's interesting to see the kind of detail that you wouldn't see when you have a model walking down the runway. So that is done. Now I am gonna go and buy flowers because I wanna get flowers for someone. And then I have to get my bag ready because I am leaving for the weekend, for a little weekend getaway. And that is it. So let's go to the flower shop together. So I just made my bouquet of flowers. Let me show you what I chose. This white flower and I mixed it with this one and I asked them to put some green and this is the final result. I am gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed um, watching. I am so sorry for all of the noise that happens when I'm filming at home because of the construction that's going on. I hope it was not too annoying to watch. I'm really happy with the bouquet I made. I hope the person will like it. And I see you in the next video.